In this example, we're going to evaluate the square root of 21 by approximating it to the nearest tenths place value. To do this, we want to look at perfect squares nearby to 21. Examples of this are 4 squared, which is 16, and 5 squared, which is 25. We can see that 21 lies between 16 and 25. So we can write the following inequality with this information. 16 is less than 21, which is less than 25. Now we can take the square root of all the values in this inequality. The square root of 16 can then be rewritten as 4. And the square root of 25 can then be rewritten as 5. The, re the reason we can rewrite the square root of 16 as 4 is because 4 squared is 16. And the reason we can rewrite the square root of 25 as 5 is because 5 squared is 25. Now we can see that the square root of 21 lies between 4 and 5. Now we want to find a tenths place decimal that when multiplied by itself gives us about 21. So let's try out values such as 4.5 squared, or 4.5 times 4.5. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22, add our 0. 4 times 5 is 20, add our 0 and our 2. And then 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. When we add these values together, we get 20.25. Now this is very close to 21, but let's see if 4.6 squared gives us something closer. Let's do 4.6 times 4.6. 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. And then 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27. Add our 0. 4 times 6 is 24, carry the 2. And then 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. When we add these values together, we end up getting 21, 21.16, which we can see is a little bit closer to 21 than 20.25 is. So we can say that 4.6 squared gives us approximately 21. Now if we take the square root of both sides, we can cancel out the squared in the 4.6 to get 4.6 is approximately the square root of 21. So 4.6 will be our approximation of the square root of 21.